Sorry, I was drooling a little bit here. It's a ten dollar Tuesday. We're in the kitchen with Connie Cahill from Kroger, and uh, we're going to be making all kinds of good stuff today to feed your family for less than ten bucks. That's right. We're talking meatballs. Meatballs. We're talking crock pot. Uh, Ooh, I mean, easy. everybody Absolutely. is on a different schedule at this time of the year mm -hmm. with sports and so forth. So pull out that crock pot if you haven't used it this summer. And I always make sure that I use the liners because oh, yeah. it's so much easier oh, for clean cleanup. Up. So you can get those right yes. on the shelf with the Reynolds wrap and everything else. So okay. make sure you do that. Now, you can make this with beef, pork, whatever, but again, I'm trying to watch a few calories. There's lots of different choices that we have with our Kroger ground turkey. Uh -huh. So you can choose whatever fat content you want on that. Okay. But we're going to be using about a pound and a half. So Sean, uh -huh. I'm just going to have you go ahead and I'll dump, all right? Okay. And I'm mixing. Mix in, yes. Ooh, so it's going to so call good. for some fresh garlic. So I've already put that into the mixture. I thought I saw the garlic in there. About okay. a cup and a half of Seasoned breadcrumbs. The okay. Now, season? if you've just got leftover bread, you can use that too. But I like and okay. always keep the seasoned breadcrumbs. We're going to use an egg because, of course, an egg always crack it on the flat surface. And then what does that help. do? That just it binds it. It helps to bind it. Absolutely, that's what an egg will do for you. Okay. A little bit of some Italian seasoning, even though we already have the Italian breadcrumbs, I still like yeah. to add more. You mm -hmm. could add fresh basil if you wanted to, but mm -hmm. I always have the Italian seasonings. Because that's got a little of everything, right? Like it the does. oregano, the that's basil. Right. That's right. That. Exactly. So okay. put that in. Onions, of course, of along course. with that garlic. All right. Are those frozen? Those were frozen uh, and onions. That's okay, I always right? have those. Okay. Always have those in the freezer. And then how about some fresh parsley, just to give it a little bit of sure. a peppery flavor. All right. You can add salt and pepper if you want to this, but I would wait until you've sampled. All right, everything. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got that all together. Beautiful job, Thank Sean. you very much. All right. So you Sean. got it all mixed all right. up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make the meatballs. They've already okay. been made. You've got your glove on. Let's put another glove on because we don't want to do any cross-contamination issues. Oh, look at you. All right. So <laughs> that's real, real important when you're talking about Very true. Uh, about wait, preparing. If I have one and you have one, are we going to do this together? We got That's this. right. It's We're a team effort. All right. So just take enough to make a meatball. Okay. And what makes these special is the fact that we just have purchased, and you can purchase the stick cheese just by the stick, all right, in the dairy right. case. All right, and this is a great that? snack for mozzarella? the kids. Yeah. So what we're going to do is cut that snack into five pieces, uh -huh. put a piece of cheese right down in the middle. Now form around form it. that around oh. it. Now I wish I could say that this was an original recipe for me, but I got this idea from a chef and I think you're really, really going to like it. So all right. a little hidden, So those uh, can surprise. be frozen. Like all right, that. and pull a few out as you're preparing oh, your meal, yeah. or if you want to prepare everything and then freeze whatever you want to do. All okay. right, so we have the spaghetti, of course, already right. prepared. Sean, yes. How about if we? <laughs> yeah, oh, right, here, right here, right here. All right, right there. Perfect. Put them back in there. All right, a little so meatball what, snowman. A little meatball snowman. All right, Perfect. so those have been. I put these on what, at midnight what sauce last did you night. Put on oh, here? those have to be All really right, good. All right, so then. the sauce is simple. I'm just using a jar of our Kroger. Spaghetti sauce, oh yes. right? and a can at about sixty-seven cents of the diced, Look Ooh, the at diced tomatoes. tomatoes. Ooh, All right, yeah. now let's put a little bit of some cheese get on, the cheese on there. top, and that is yours. You guys that. can meet to the middle so if you, you want. So you don't spaghetti. brown your meatballs; they cook up. Oh, time. you don't brown them at all. You just put them you right put down them in the, the crock pot with the sauce. Let them cook for six to eight hours Ooh. on low. Oh, look at that! Oh, we got a rolling almost lost one. meatballs rolling <laughs> right. everywhere. And I put, as I said, I put a beautiful <laughs> peach little crisp. That together. looks really good. The peach is over here. Now, just real quick, how did you make that? So you just super easy. Cut up a peach. Super easy. You can see how large they are. Just yeah. take out the pit, cut them up. I don't even take the peel off or anything. Right. Put some cinnamon brown sugar, pecans, oh, and butter man. on the top. Bake Ooh. them for about 20 minutes, a 375 oven. This is perfect. Add some bread, and look at this. The kids That's all awesome. for under $10. $10. What did you do? Did wow. You know? I don't $9.93. Know. $9.93. Right under the wire there, Connie. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This is great. Looks, tastes great. We have the recipe it. for you on our website, myfox28columbus.com. Click on Good Day Columbus, and then click on Recipes, and then boom. You're done. <laughs> You're done. Easy. All right. Easy, easy. Thanks, Patty. We'll be right back. We got to try that, baby. Oh, yeah. Stand back. <laughs>